I find that that working with with like actual research partners from the end user community, in this case, for our for our research people with uh, upper limb and lower limb amputations, I find that it helps us sort of get over that user researcher drive of, oh, I need to make something that's so new that no one else has ever thought of it because then it'll get accepted to all the big conferences and journals. And it turns right. out that uh, A, well, it probably won't anyway, let's be honest. Um, and, and, and B, a lot of the top venues, at least in our field, are looking for those in-depth studies that are motivated by actual practical deployment. They want to see devices, technologies, ideas, control solutions, or even ways of measuring being deployed with end users in actual patient populations. That's what the community is now really, I think, focused on, which is a nice change, I think, over some of some of the time that I've been in this particular field. There's a lot of work on like, let's just throw some machine learning algorithms offline at some data that we collected. That was the phase where the community is at. But I think now, the community is expecting of ourselves, the, the upper limb prosthetic control community is expecting that we're actually working with users. We're trying out ideas that are co-created with users and we're involving users not just in the ideation but also in the dissemination and the communication of those technologies so that we're doing it respectfully, responsibly, and in fact, in the way that's gonna have the big, biggest impact.